वेलकम बैक टू आर स्पेशल कवरेज ऑफ महिंद्रा बाहा एस ए इंडिया ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन इट्स डे थ्री एंड इट्स टाइम फॉर द डायनेमिक टेस्ट वेर मोस्ट ऑफ दी अदर टीम मेंबर्स टेक अ बैक सीट एंड लेट द ड्राइवर्स टेक सेंटर स्टेज The first group of dynamic tests was designed to evaluate the roadworthiness of every buggy. The figure of eight test, as the name implies, had each team's buggy performing a figure of eight within the confines of a chalk marked course. You have to do a figure of eight on that, and you have to stay within the limits of the track. This was a test of basic engineering. ensuring that the small buggies had a turning circle to match and that the steering systems were functioning as required it's quite difficult but if the steering geometry is right you can conquer it easily the next set of tests braking and acceleration tested those very aspects on the braking lane the driver would set off on command and build up speed before hitting the brakes and coming to a full stop within the braking zone this is the most important test of the car because uh, the car uh, car travels at full speed and has to brake at particular stopping distance and the, all the four tires should lock while braking distances did matter the judges were also watching to ensure that all four brakes were functioning and working together locking all four wheels when the driver hit the pedal oh. The acceleration test always draws crowds at Baha SAE India and is of particular importance as it determines the running order for the flagship endurance race. It is in events like these that prior experience comes into play with teams like College of Engineering Pune and Bellur Institute of Technology coming prepared to excel in the test. At this time we are using a CVT trans uh, trans excel so it it has helped us a lot uh, in our acceleration event. The next three tests on the slate had the teams worried even before they took to the track. With the organizers making changes to the hill climb and also creating brand new maneuvering and suspension test zones to give the buggies a proper workout. Now this year, you know, if uh, the hill climb is a concrete hill climb, we've increased the gradient to have 26 degrees up from 17 degrees last year. And the maneuverability, we've uh, divided that into one test for steering and the other one for suspension and traction. That's very interesting, uh, very tough. Uh, the way we look at it, if it's not, if they find it easy, we're going to make it tougher. The maneuvering track looks deceptively easy, but losing concentration and making a mistake would have immediate consequences. Knock down a ball or break the stick marking the course, and each infringement added 10 seconds to the team's total time. The manuality basically tests how well the steering response of the vehicle is. There are sharp turns, hairpin bends, and therein they check whether you are able to go in those tracks within a confined region or not. And the fastest vehicle to do that without penalty is the winner in the manuality event. The driver had a full confidence in the vehicle, and we had a good steering. and both together gave us the best performance and we didn't score any penalty and finish the manuality track in very good time the hill climb paved over with concrete on request from the team was supposed to pose a stiff challenge but faced with a 26 degree incline most teams laid down their rubber and made it up the slope with little difficulty but there were still some others who found themselves rolling backwards car's weight is very essential at the hill climb if the car is weighing more and if the power gen isn't uh, sufficient enough to suffice the weight then the car is going to fail in hill climb so as my car as it weighs uh, 265 and we have a manual transmission it easily pulls through the hill climb uh, having a good record of hill climb This time hill climb is not that difficult because they are this time they have built a concrete hill climb and like uh, the tires grip the tire the grip what we require is appropriate for the hill climb The last dynamic test for the team will be all new suspension and traction course filled with obstacles table tops and hazards designed to challenge the limits of the buggy and their drivers This would indeed be a worthy final obstacle on the path to the endurance race. These guys are youngsters. They've got the rush in them and uh, where they're supposed to shut throttle, 
they're still going full throttle. Like for example, as soon as you start and that's the tabletop out there, okay, you go full throttle on the start, but when you roll down, you're supposed to roll down and power in through. But what these guys are going, they're going to try to go fast and they're hitting the nose first. So that's where they're damaging the car. Designed to test suspension and traction, the course soon became a test of a more basic parameter, ground clearance. Build your buggy too low, don't leave enough travel in your suspension, and pretty soon, you'd find yourself grounded. This track was a very good track, and was the same as compared to US we went last year. And the humps were same, the water pit was same, the, sh the sh uh, sharp bends were curved, it was a hairpin bend. I like this track. The best part of the track was the hill climbing at the end of the uh, splash. That was the best part of the track, where the vehicle uh, gets 2G force and 3G force on the uh, lateral acceleration of the tyres. In that, if your tyre does not support the sprung mass, then your uh, stub axle may break. So that was the main uh, challenge we had in our vehicle, and we did it. This was a challenge that needed to be attacked. Teams that came well prepared, and especially the drivers who pushed hard, were rewarded with spectacular splashes, big jumps, and the best times. The suspension was really designed for such an event of uh, tough terrain, with all the manually kind of thing. We underwent testing when, with all the phases, with all the similar prototype and testing. Uh, the driver was very confident of pulling out a very good timing with the suspension action event. And even a suspension team worked very hard with the vehicle this time. So, bring out a very good uh, timing. We were able to complete the suspension action event in around uh, 58 seconds. Seriously, it's a very tough track and it's very new. So, this kind of track would have not been faced by any of the other teams. But we have been went to South Africa and have uh, performed very well. We won the endurance race. So, with that experience, our driver Sura Jaru, he had a great scope for this type of track. As day three came to an end, the teams who'd finished their Kotoak challenges were let out onto the main circuit to acclimatize themselves with the layout. Day four then would bring the biggest challenge of all. And so we're at the end of the penultimate day of Mahindra Baha SAE India 2014. Tomorrow, the teams that have successfully crossed all the hurdles put in their path so far will face off with each other in the flagship four-hour endurance race. We're going to take a quick break too, but coming up on the other side, I'll be speaking to the man people consider to be the father of Baja in India, and we're going to talk to him about the event and its impact and benefits for the auto industry. 